to Stephen Klein. Uh, Steve is going to be running for Center Real Town Council in the October election. And Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. So me and my wife, Kim, have lived in Centerville for more than a decade now. And uh, we're raising our twins, Alex and Emily. They're seven years old here in town. And uh, I just want to start by saying, you know, certainly thanks to my wife uh, for letting me uh, do this, run for town council. I wouldn't be sitting here without her, so thanks to her. But uh, I'm an Eagle Scout and uh, ha have been a Marylander my entire life. In fact, I'm a seventh generation uh, Marylander uh, uh, from Baltimore originally, but I moved over here about 10 years ago. Great. Well, why were you considering running for town council? So I'm the son of a, of a steel worker, a Baltimore steel worker, uh, who worked in those steel mills for 33 years. And we were taught from a young age to, to move towards a job that needed to be done. And when you get done on an important cause to, to get right to it. And as a kid, as a Boy Scout growing up, uh, I did a lot of public service projects uh, in town where, where I was living then and carried that with me really through my whole life. And I think it's time to step up and you know, there's clearly things that need to happen in town and uh, I think I can be a part of that. I don't come to this race with, uh, with an agenda. You know, there's not a single thing that I'm uh, obsessing over having to get done. Mm -hmm. But I do think we need serious-minded and professional people to, to run for these jobs. So I'm excited to see uh, nine people running for these seats. It's really uh, refreshing. What are some of the major issues, though, that you see facing the council this coming year? Sure. So I think that uh, the town needs to do a better job of communicating with its residents. Uh, as you saw, I think, and it's, it's good to see some of this, uh, but there's clearly appetite for change in town. And you saw a lot of excitement around the last election, uh, a lot of excitement around the road construction project. And I think people have lost confidence in town government. And it's difficult to have confidence in something uh, that you never hear from. Uh, it's tough to imagine, uh, you know, again, having confidence in a town government that you don't hear from. Mm -hmm. And so the, the next batch of town council members have got to do a better job of communicating with uh, the residents. You know, we, we have a uh, $17 million debt uh, on the books right now. That is more than three times the general budget of the town, uh, which I think is pretty alarming. So the second issue is we've got to start to address that debt issue. And you can marry those two things uh, every quarter uh, everybody in town gets gets a letter, a bill, utility bill from the town, uh, and I would argue every one of those utility bills should include a financial statement of uh, how the town is doing, what revenues look like, what expenditures look like, where we are in the budget year, uh, and instead of having a three-page budget document that is uh, really difficult to read, it has no context from previous budget years, we have got to change the way we do that. The third thing I would mention is uh, broadband internet. You know, everybody, or seemingly everyone, is learning from home now, uh, working from home, and if we're going to place Centerville in a relevant position uh, for the next two or three hundred years, we have got to be better on the internet uh, mm -hmm. and get a more reliable internet connection and more competition because that, that increases customer service. And uh, the final thing I'll mention is growth. You know, we have the potential to add hundreds of new homes to Centerville, looking at a couple of farms across town, and that has to be managed. That has to be, you have, the town council members have got to be asking the right questions of developers and demanding the right answers. Mm -hmm. is, is there one main thing that you would hope to accomplish out of those? Sure, I want to restore people's confidence in the town government. Mm -hmm. uh, I want people to know that the town government is competent. Uh, it is looking out for the residents' best interests. And I've got a reputation uh, professionally and personally as being kind of a no-nonsense guy, uh, but I'm also a positive guy. And I think if you look at what's happening on social media and in the country broadly, I think it's very negative. And what I want to do is, is push back against that at whatever scale we can. We don't talk to our neighbors the way we talk to people on social media. We don't talk to people at the grocery store that way. And I think Centerville is a good laboratory for, you know, how do we treat people better? How do we approach problems? with a solutions-oriented uh, attitude, but also a positive attitude as well. And lastly, is there anything else that you want to share with the voters? Yeah, I think that, that message of positivity uh, that we can, uh, you know, this is not, Centerville doesn't have to be the place where we talk about big national debates. Mm -hmm. the town
Town government has some very specific and tangible things that they have to uh, get done for the residents of this of the town, and I think the town needs to demand more from its government. The residents need to demand more from its government. Get involved, uh, please vote. Certainly, uh, I would say look into all of the candidates. I think there are candidates that are uh, well positioned to. Uh, by temperament, by experience. I've got 20 years of experience in public policy, um, and I think I come to this uniquely qualified for the job. All right. Well, thanks so much for being here with Thank us Thank you today. for the opportunity.